Excel Productions presents the Television Comedy Hour. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Who welcome to the Television Comedy Hour, the best 30 minutes of famous comedians in the galaxy. Ooh, snap into a Slim Jim, brother. Oh yeah, that's the ticket. Kool-Aid, yeah. So, we're gonna have on possibly Daryl K. Mack today. You know, HBO, BET, Showtime, Paul, stuff like that, right? You know. Uh, we have some great comedians on the show today. First of all, I want to tell you, hey, you know, I, uh, you know, I went to the dentist one time, right? I went to the dentist to fix a tooth. It's about nine years ago. I paid three thousand dollars, right? Uh, Western Dental, Western Dental. My insurance paid ten percent, right? So they put in this round tooth like a marble, right? And I said, hey, that's not gonna work. My teeth are flat. They're like concave, right? And it fell out repeatedly, you know, like, like, like all work done by Western Dental, right? You know, so, you know, as you can imagine. So I kept going back in several times. One day they called me and they said, hey, where are you at? And I'm like, I'm across the street, you know, I'm over at Geneva. And they go, hey, can you come in and do some impressions? Somebody sat on the wax impressions that we fitted for you the other day and they ruined them, you know? And I'm like, sure. So, you know, I walked in and I was like, I can't get any power, Captain. I cannot. We're doing the best we can. Hoot man, who do you think you are? It's the dilithium crystals, you know. And they laughed. I didn't think they would laugh. I thought I was going to have to turn on the uh, nitrous oxide for a little while and let that run, you know. So then they put in another round tooth, right, which they, they tried to get it rounder. It cracked all the teeth around this one, right? <laughs> cracked all the And because of overcrowding, ruined teeth like all the way around, you know, cracking them, right? So, you know, that's, that's Western Dental for you, right? You know, so I'm like, hmm, great. So it, it kept falling out. They put it back in, falling out, put it back in. This went on for like about a year, right? So I go in and, and uh, you know, I've been coming in there. And I, I go in and they go, hey, we don't have any record of you ever being a patient here. I'm like, what? I've been here for like 25 years. Not because I like your shoddy work and your high prices, right? It's because I had my, and because Delta Dental USA would only cover Western Dental. They still do. That's the only one they'll cover, which is worthless. Western Dental is worthless. I'm telling you, I'm venting a little bit here, right? So, you know, after 25 years of being a patient there, we don't have no record of you ever being a patient. I said, I do. I got, I got the paperwork. You know, I said, my accountant, Gina, has the paperwork and is right here, you know? She had all my uh, receipts. And they're like, no, no, we, we don't think you were ever a patient. I've been coming here 25 years. I went to the Vacaville one. Then they moved it closer, Fairfield. Then they moved it closer, Vallejo. Then they moved it to Napa, which was really close, right? So, you know, and I kept driving those long distances, having them put back in teeth that they screwed up repeatedly, right? You know, so they destroyed, they destroyed the teeth, you know, and then they said, okay. So I went on Yelp, right? You know, and I put it on. I put it on Yelp. So on one time I tried to put the tooth in myself. You know, I swallowed it, right? <laughs> and I refused to retrieve it. You know, I'm not, I'm not picking for teeth and corn kernels and out of some turds, you know. So, so I paid $78 a month and I had one payment left, right? So I went to, I was going to pay that last 2%, but I didn't since I refused to finish the procedure, right? So I'm like, not paying that last 2%, right? So nine years of pain and suffering, and I had to buy two gold grills to cover the shoddy work they did, which was $1,500, one during the procedure, which is worthless because now it won't fit, you know, right, because they put in the round tooth, and then the next one, which is fine, right, you know, $1,500 for gold grills to cover their damage, right. So then they charged me late fees and interest and such, and I'm like, hey, how can you charge me if I was never a patient there? Oh, they couldn't explain that one. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, you're never a patient here, but we're billing. Let me think. You know, so now it's up to like $1,000, and they've destroyed my credit. I had $60,000 line of credit and a 677 credit rating, right? And they couldn't explain. And they said, on Yelp, they said, oh, I'm sorry. Come back in. We'll make it right. Several times, right? So every time I went in, they said, oh, you owe us money. I'm like, what? And we'll not fix the tooth and or give your money back. Neither one. None of the above. All three. Right? So, 
You go look at all the millions of bad reviews on Yelp, and Western Dillon's been fucking up regularly for decades, right? you know? So, okay, I was just venting a little bit, but so now, you know, um, 25 years ago, right? Uh, I had, I had, before Delta Dental, I had Medi Medi. So they sent me this dentist office in Vallejo, right? So I went in there, it looked like the 1920s, right? They had a rotary phone on the desk, old wooden shutters covered in thick dust, right? You know, it looked like a gumshoe office from some old novel, right? You know, so I go in there, the secretary is 85 years old. I, I shit you not, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, right? She said, what insurance do you have? And I was like, Medi Medi. She goes, we don't take that shit here. And I'm like, okay. And then the dentist walks in. He's 90 years old, right? And he goes, he goes, oh, yes, we do. Margaret, stop that, you know? And she's like, all right, shit, you know? So she charged me and <laughs> for my appointment. And so they had this, I go in the room, right? And it's like even older. I go in and it's covered with dust. They had this round wooden walnut sphere with a brass ring around the equator, right, hanging from the ceiling with this drill hanging down, ancient, right? So from this ancient wooden apparatus with an old dull drill hanging down, the, the guy, he, he said, hey, are you brave? I was like, yeah, I'm a Tyler, I'm tough. And he's like, okay. And he starts to drill with a slow, dull drill. Right, and I'm like, Okay, I'm like, hey, Novocaine, right? He's like, I thought you said you were tough. I'm not kidding, it's a true story, right? And I'm like, well, yeah, but, uh, and he's like, okay. And <laughs> check this out, true story, he gets out a needle made out of iron, <laughs> right? I'm not kidding you, right? It's a true story. Not a, not, a, not a glass needle from the 1950s, not a plastic needle from the 1980s, right? But it's this old, <laughs> this is like from the, it's not from the 1980s, it's from the 1890s, right? This shit's from the 1890s. Or left over in the 1890s from the Confederate War surplus, right? He, he got out the iron needle and it's, it's, it's like, it's not rusty, but it's like, you know. He, he, he shoots me up with this old, dull, dirty iron needle, right? And he proceeds to drill with this old, dull drill. And, and uh, I thought, you know, Ashton Kutcher is gonna pop out here and say, hey, Hey, Tyler, you're punked, right? No, but no, no such luck, right? This is true. This is really happening. I thought for sure I'm on camera somewhere, right? This has got to be a joke, right? So then the dentist, he farts this long, loud fart. He's like, Burr. and he doesn't change the expression on his face. He just continues drilling like nothing happened, right? You know, and I know I said I stopped venting you know, about the Western Dental, but this guy was venting loudly, I'm telling you. It was the first time and the last time that a dentist ever used gas on me, you know. So, okay, I'm going to check on um, Daryl K. Mac right about now, and let's go to the phones. We might have to, I might have to change the camera angle a little bit. I'm doing this show, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to get me a... Uh, I'm going to keep that image up there. Okay. And, and we're back, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. I got, I got, I got stuff. Let me see what, let me pull out my... Magic bag of tricks. Yeah. Um, I can edit it if you just want to let it roll. Because I got, I got material here. I just got to read it all by hand. I didn't, you know, I mean, it's handwritten. Um, unless the tunnel prompter is working. Oh, wait. We might have somebody here. Ah. They said, oh, my God, it's 430 in the morning in Vietnam. I said, wake up, put you on TV. Oh, it's only 3 a.m. I was, I was wrong. My bad. Okay. So it's only 3 a.m. 
in Vietnam. Okay. Hey, you want to do a, a TV show? Is it 3 a.m. yet? You want to be on, on television? You ready? Okay, go back to sleep. Next. Okay, it's only 3 a.m. All right, let's go back to... Nobody. Nobody else. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, and we're back. So, yeah, we had a cancellation, a little uh, mm, on the other end of the line this time, a little technical difficulties. Not on our part this time, but uh, on the other party. So, I was going to tell you about what if you're not going on if you're not going to tell jokes then what oh I can't see you you ready to go on TV you want to do a television show can't hear you can't see you wouldn't want to be it okay I know it's three o'clock in the morning all right I'll call you back after the TV show all right next guest okay bye all right, let's turn the, I don't want to turn the computer off because I need the images. Okay, so I was going to tell you about, uh, you know, the, I have this, this shirt for men. It's Forever 21, right? Or 21 Forever, Forever 21, right? You know, and uh, I know I told you about the 22 and you. It's that new gun I was selling with one bullet, right? You know, and then you heard of the 23 and me, right? Well, I get this one, uh, I'll show this image. This is 24 and snore. And that's, that's, that's a picture right there. We can pop that up. It's, uh, is it connected? Yeah, that's 24 and snore right there because she's sleeping and she's, she's 24. Uh, yep, and uh, that, this, that's Hoya. Soya, that's Hoy. And her sister, I saw her sister yesterday, Thwe. We, she was 21 and fun, you know, at the time, right? This is a while back. So, you know, she, she'll call me up, Ling Ling, hello? And she said, I know Ravu no more. Okay. Um, she had problems with the L's and R's sometimes, right? So, yeah, you got the, yeah, the 21, forever 21, 21 forever, 22 and you, 23 and me, 24 and snore, 21 and fun, right? So, oh, last night, man, I, was, I went to, uh, I'm singing on stage, and this girl comes up, and she said, she grabbed me, started hugging me. She goes, oh, I love you. My name is Abby. I'm, she said, I'm 23, and uh, you, you brought the heat. And I was like, really? I'm like, I'm only, yeah, she's only like a third. I'm only three times older, so that's not, not, not too bad, right? So she's like a hard body, right? So I'm like, okay. And then, um, oh, I was going to, she thought, I thought maybe she would think that I was over the hill, you know, right? So I'm thinking, oh, over the hill, isn't that a good thing? You got over the hill, right? And then some people, oh, you can't cut the mustard. I mean, who wants to be cutting mustard, right? No, I'm not talking to you because you're not, you're not going on the damn, now this would be funny. Yeah. Are you going on camera? I can't hear you. Are you on camera? Speak. Okay. I can't hear you, I can't see you. I'm doing a TV show, you're the next guest. If you're not, all right, next guest, sorry. All right. Hang up, I saw, ciao, don't be it. Next, we can leave that in, I don't care. Stop, I'm not reading and writing. Okay, so then, I'm telling you, right? So, yeah, there's like, uh, they couldn't cut the mustard, right? Who wants to cut mustard? <laughs> you know, you got a knife? Why, what do you want to be cutting? You know, and they, oh, they say, lightning never strikes twice, right? I call, I call bullshit on that one. <laughs> I've seen lightning many times. Uh, they say, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen, right? But, you know, what if you're not cooking? I don't know. 
you know, they say old fishermen never die. They just, they just smell that way, right? You know, they say a friend in need is a moocher. That's what that is, right? Yeah. When you give a man a fish, you feed him for one day. But if you teach a man how to fish, well, it's like drink beer all day long, just loaf, basically, right? Yeah, you know, they say walk softly and carry a big stick. That guy was paranoid, but wasn't that one of our presidents? <laughs> right? You know, uh, you can't have your cake and eat it too. <laughs> what good is it? What? Who wants it? Right? It's like that's a waste of time. They say an elephant never forgets. I'm like, well, how do they know that? Did they put like an EKG, like cat, big, big giant bonnet on his head and test it? You know, I'm like, that must have cost some money, right? People, you know, they say, okay. Too many chiefs and not enough Indians. And I'm like, shit, now there's hardly any of either, right? My mom was half Cherokee. She's gone, you know, right? You know, or some people say about pizza, they say, too many cheese, not enough onions. Same thing. Uh, but, and then people say, the black of the berry, the sweet of the juice. <laughs> Unless it's a strawberry. Those, I tried it. They turn black. <laughs> They're not that sweet. <laughs> I'm telling you. After the strawberry turns black, <clears throat> oh, it's not quite the same. Man, you know, they say time waits for no man. But it'll wait for women because they're always late. You know, they're putting on the makeup, stuff like that, right? You know, and they say the road to hell is paved with good intentions. And I say the highway to hell was written by ACDC, you know. So they say, oh, the pin is mightier than the sword, man. Have you ever been stabbed with a pin? <laughs> it's, it's, it's not that bad, really. Um, they say, better safe than sorry. Yeah, safe's not going to get you anywhere. You've got you to take risks, pally. You know, you want that paradigm to work, you know, that quantum leap, right, into the next, yeah. you gotta, you got to take some risks, okay? you got to visualize, baby. So... Then, they say, good fences make good neighbors. It also keeps out thieves if, and, and other people's dogs and stuff like that. Chickens, you know, it keeps out. It, it, it does multiple, there's many factors involved, right? You know, so they say, the squeaky wheel gets the grease. But not if it's on my car, because I ain't taking it to the shop, right? <laughs> All right. Um, loose lips sink ships. And so, so do torpedoes, right? I mean, and... Quicker, yeah, you know. And they say, when it rains, it pours. Huh, it looked like it was raining today. Here it is in June. It was actually almost sprinkling, so it wasn't really pouring. So that's, I call bullshit on that one, too. That's, that's incorrect, you know. They say, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. <laughs> unless, unless the goose is getting boned a lot, <laughs> then it's not good for the gander. He doesn't, he didn't, he doesn't like that right, sometimes. Well, maybe he does. I don't know. But, um, they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It also makes him a rich boy, maybe a dough boy, lots of rolling in that dough. Um, they say necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, but I'm the father. Well, leave it, right? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink, smoke, steal, lie, or anything else. <clears throat> That's true. Any, anybody needs to give me a cue card if I go over, let me know. It's only a half hour. It's the television comedy hour, but it's 30 minutes, folks, right, you know. So they say moss doesn't grow, moss don't grow on a rolling stone. Man, have you seen the rolling stones lately? Nothing grows on them. <laughs> they're, 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 they're losing it, right, you know. They, they, got, they got no moss, no hair, no, no, no massimo. Uh, they say, don't count your chickens before they're hatched, right? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but if they're not hatched, they're not chickens, okay? I mean, that just goes without saying, right? You know, um, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. Who's doing, what junkie is out looking in barns for needles, you know? I mean, oh, here's a haystack. Yeah, that's the ticket. Let's go, right? You know, that ain't going to, I mean, that just doesn't happen. You know, that, that's wrong. They say... You can't get blood out of a turnip. What idiot is, try, is trying to get blood from a turnip? I mean, and for what reason? What's he going to do with the blood, right? I mean, 
that that's just weird, right? You know, and they say all that glitter is not gold. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's platinum. You never know, right? Everybody deserves a second chance. Yeah, you know Hitler. He should have got a second chance. They shouldn't have just bombed him when he was in. You know, give him a second chance, right? You know, yeah. You know, they say a cat has nine lies. Now I tested this theory out. It's not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't work. The first time it failed. Okay, all right. They say opportunity only knocks once, but then it rings the doorbell. So that's the good part, right? Yeah. And they say, let a sleeping dog lie, cheat, steal, whatever he wants to do. Let him, let him do it, you know. You know people say, it's, it's like pulling teeth. I'm like, what, did you used to be a dentist? You, you have firsthand experience on this or something, you know? How do you know? Yeah, yeah that's, that's fucking bullshit. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, you know, and then, oh, oh, not that line. Uh-uh. Oh, nope, can't do that one. This is, uh, this is. Not late enough on TV for that, right? You know. Oh, nope, can't do this one. No, can't say that. Can't say this. Um, I think pretty much we got, I'll, I'll have to, you know what? I'll put in a music video at the end of this clip. Yeah, yeah. So this is the television comedy hour, right? The best 30 minutes of comedians on BET, Showtime at the Apollo, uh, NBC on what is it? What is the other one? HBO. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. So, till next time, America, pretty much we are Space Ghost from the West Coast. Thank you. Until next week. The most important thing in business is honesty, integrity, hard work, family. Never forgetting where we came from. I bought you diamond rings. Never forgetting where we came from. Eight. All those things. A marquee cut. Never forgetting where we came from. Teardrop bling. Never forgetting where we came from. I see you sporting them on Facebook. I'm going to trade you in on Never your phone. Never forgetting mom. where we came from. Never forgetting where we came from. So after three years, you thought you'd run away. I quit drinking beer because I don't play. You got your green card and left the Napa Valley, but you let down your card. You want to be with Tyler Mally. There's a door go out, but you can't come in. Like a record that's broke, I said again and again. Now you say I miss you and love you so much, but I just diss you, ignore you. Tyson, Tyson, Toy be it, Tyler Mow. Tyson, Tyson, Toy be it, Tyler Mow.
Tantu, teaching you the language of beats. Let's go. Zeta, Reticulum One, huh? That's the place where I come from. I flew down here in a silver wheel. And now, baby doll, it's time to get real. I'm a hip hop fanatic from out of space, huh? Stand back while I rock the place. I got moves no one has ever seen. 58 years and a body like a Tina Bench. 500 with just one hand. The size of my arms no one can understand. Or comprehend or even dream. And when I walk into the room, the girls just scream. My ship's called Spectra, move real fast. Hit the speed of light and I'm out of your path. Cause I'm a white guy and I'm extremely white. And I walk with my buttocks extremely tight. I'm a cool boutique and a real loudspeaker. And I like to hang around with the sex that's weaker. When girls walk around, think the cutie pies. Huh, I don't care. You know what? I kill droids. That's right, bigger than spit. Uh huh. You know what? I don't quit. I got biceps up to my shoulders. Yeah, boy, just like the boulders. A matter of fact, the girls get distracted. Physically attracted, abdominally attracted. But not shine, huh? That's what I say. Yeah, it's not French, it's a reticulum way. Cause I'm Talamal and I don't stall. You know the words just flow like Niagara Falls, huh? I got the wood. From all this talk, huh? I'll make your body so like a hot. We'll take a walk again and make it rock. Cause I got the key and you got the lock. I said a bottom to the top, but top to the bottom. Hip, hip, hop and you don't stop. The boogie said, get up, but get, get, to get down. Tylenol is the one with the sound. Everybody knows that I'm so smooth that even Paula Abdullah wanna learn my moves. And when I talk to you, boy, you don't say what, cause you mess with me. I put my foot to your butt, cause I'm Tylenol and I don't stall. You know the words just flow like Niagara Falls. The Television Comedy Hour was filmed before a can studio audience. To the top, so I'm owing Johnny Knotts. Hip hop don't stop, so the beat I drop. Top of the charts on Reverb Nation, from St. Bart's to all the Haitians, from the start right to flotation. From my heart, it's captivation. Number one is where I'm rating. You knew it was my fate, and all you haters keep on hating, cause my ego is in flame. Born ready, died waiting, torn teddy, she'll be made. With me, there's no debating, cause the Tyler is creating. 707 to the 340. Down to St. Thomas out of SFO. 707 to the 340 Napa Valley, Cali to the Bolongo West Indian, East Indian, I'm from the Cherokee Nation I'm on the radio, depending on the station 107.9 playing me in rotation It's like heaven, it's fine all across the nation I'm the new sensation, positive vibration Number one Caucasian for a new generation I came here on vacation, I'm here for the duration Fame and transportation to my world domination